You call me to say that my songs just hit the way that you'd hope for, and I know that you're listening in the car on the way home, and I would never intrude, but do you think he'd be cool with it? Sometimes you gotta break the rules. Honey, you know I do shit for it. Guys, if you struggle with customizing your wig or with making your wig look natural, please keep watching this video. We're going to be reviewing a wig that was sent to me from Asteria Hair. It came in this beautiful box. And as you guys can see, you get your wig. It comes in a bag. It has a hair net. It is securely wrapped for you. Also, you get a box full of goodies. So like they send you a comb and a brush for your edges. These luscious eyelashes. You get two wig caps and this cute edge melting band with gold on the inside. It's really freaking cute. I'm like, y'all did y'all's big one on this melting band. I ain't never seen one this lavish. <laughs> you also get a satin bag to store your wig in. And then on the back of the bag, it has the contact information for the brand. I guess in case you want to order again, because baby, the wig is phenomenal. So let's get into it. I have the 5x5 lace wig. This is HD lace. You can do 13x4 or 4x4 for your lace. And I'm going to show you guys up close just how beautiful it is. It is pre-bleached, pre-plucked, pre-cut. It is um, flattened down on top, as you guys can see. They curled it. They did all the work for you. I just, I can't get over the quality of it. I don't know how these brands are doing it. Like, I can't get over the quality. Um, but I got a 10-inch bob. It comes in 12 inches and 14 inches as well. And it's also 180% density. This is the inside of the cap. You guys can see the lace is like a little brown, but we're going to make it darker. It comes with combs. There's combs at the nape and then combs at the temple. And then the adjustable elastic band on the inside, which has grippers on there. So like it gives you a tighter, more um, non-slippable grip on your wig. And then of course, there's adjustable straps at the bottom. Like I said, I'm going to make it a little bit darker. I'm going in with this foundation. I actually should have used like a little bit of a lighter shade because this is sort of dark um, for my skin tone right now. But, you know, we made it work. It's still it's still going to eat. You're going to see. But I'm putting the foundation on one side of the lace so that we can contrast and compare on how it looks with the foundation versus without the foundation. This step is really helpful if you want that really good melt. But you guys can see how the lace looks without the foundation. It's really, it's really light. So when I put my wig on, I put the band on first and then I pull my wig down in the back and I pull it forward in the front. And at that point, you can put your combs in if you wanna use the combs or not. And I'm just making sure my part is lined up so that it's not askew. <laughs> but I was just sitting there looking like, I can't believe how natural this looks like I can't believe the amount of work they put into it I've been doing wigs for years and I could never pluck them or bleach them to get them to look this good I'm just I don't know you, are, you, are you guys seeing the melt this is the melt without me putting on any kind of product at all it is just me putting on the wig and it's sitting like this and just to make sure you guys are, don't think I'm lying look I have not put any glue or hairspray or anything down and it's just melting. I just, I can't, I can't, how? I'm just gonna cut this little piece of lace off right here because I didn't like how that was looking. And then I'm gonna comb out the wig so we can see just how amazing she looks. Like I said, they did all the work. They already flat ironed and bumped the ends for you. If you want it more sleek, like, like if you don't want the curled end, of course you can flat iron that out, but I actually prefer it like this. I think it looks I don't know, chic, sophisticated? I don't know how to, how to describe it. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna comb out the hair cause like when I put it on, I flipped it upside down. So like the hair got a little bit messy, but we're gonna fix that. This is how full the wig is, you guys. Um, I don't know if I said it before, but I have 180% density. And that's, that's the standard on the wig. So it's 180% density. But look how full it is in the angle of the bob. Like they really put, like the work in, they cut it perfectly. I think it's the perfect length. Like it's just grazing the shoulders. It's not too long. It's just, mm, it's cute. I'm going to show you guys the back of the wig too, in case you're interested in seeing how it looks in the back. And boom, there she is. So this is the back of it. Like I said, she's very full. 
Like, this is giving 250 density. Like, I don't know. But I'm going to tuck it behind my ears because sometimes I wear my wigs tucked behind my ears. I wanted to see how it looked. And I think it still eats down even with the 5x5 five five closure. So I'm like, yes, versatility. Of course, you can part it on the side if you wanted to. But, like, I prefer a middle part. That's my preference. And that's how this wig is made. But you can, like, change the parting if you want to. So now I'm just showing you guys the shake test. Like, look at this, guys. No glue or anything. Amazing. Yes, she will be linked down below in the description bar. Okay, so Bells, before I close this video out, I had to come on here and tell you my final thoughts. For one thing, I'm not even wearing the combs. I just put the strap around my head, pulled the wig down, and you guys saw I just did the shake test. She didn't go nowhere. She is fitting securely and snugly on my head. Now, I me mean, personally, I like having combs too, just to be on the safe side, but I'm just comfortable and confident in the fact that even without the combs, she's sitting pretty. The length, perfect, 10 inches. And she's just caressing the shoulders. She's full of body. She's full of hair, as you guys can see. She's nice and thick. I didn't have to do anything. All I did was put foundation on the lace so that it matches my skin tone. I didn't even put no concealer in the part, and nor am I, because it doesn't need it. The melt. They gave you a melt band so that you can melt it. And don't get me wrong, like, you guys know I'll put some hairspray here right quick and settle it into the hairspray. I'm not going to do that. It just melted. It is just, it's melted. It's, the lace is just getting better and better and better. I don't know what these companies are doing. It's like some kind of magical potion spell going on. But it just melts so beautifully. I have, um, I want to say a 5x5 five five closure. Of course, you can get different closures or lace if you want to. But she's already curled. She's super soft. The hair is so soft. Like, so freaking soft. Um, but yeah, she's already curled or flat ironed, bumped at the ends, whatever you want to say. They already have the hair pushed back. It's already bleached. It's already plucked. Because, like, for a while there, synthetic wigs was coming in hard with the competition because they were doing all the work for you because they were cutting. Um, they were already layering the hair and styling the hair and plucking it for you guys. Like, they were already doing all the work. But now the human hair game has come back. And they like they, they said, we ain't going to die out slowly. They have come back with a punch. And how much better is it to get a human hair wig because it's going to last longer and there's no tangling? I never thought I would like short hair on me either, but this bob eats. It eats down on the girls. It just, mm. And I can tuck it behind my ears when I get tired of it being in my face. And I was going to do baby hairs, but baby, why? <laughs> why? It's not needed. This looks expensive. This looks like I cost money. Like, lavish. Just, it gives high end. It gives a luxury, girl, okay? It eats period per so this is from asteria hair if you want this wig go down below beneath this video in the description bar click on the see more down below and it'll expand and you can get all the links and information if you want to go follow asteria hair on social media all their links would be down below as well i'm just gonna go stare at myself in the mirror for a little while so i'll be seeing you guys later but thanks for tuning in i love you guys so freaking much look at the Stiff wear. Stiff wear. <laughs> Stop. All right, guys. I love you. I will catch you in the next video. <laughs>